Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here. So, how are you? I hope you're okay. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to show you some of my favourite paintings using the swipe technique. And what other way to start than with a blue painting? I love my blues. I love these puddle pours. And of course, I'm going to use a swiping technique to create some really nice cells and lacing. So what other paintings do you think have reached my top four? Stay tuned and watch me create some really great pieces using this swipe technique. And because I want to show you some of the main details and some highlights, I've obviously sped up this video. I don't work this fast normally. <laughs> you know that anyway. But let me take you through this swipe. Now, as I am swiping, I'm just mixing some of the colours up first. So I'm basically mixing some of those puddles up that we've laid on the canvas already. And then, of course, I'm going to take my magic formula, which is white titanium by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol. And that's what's going to create the lacing that you see appear now. When I place my palette knife on the canvas, I literally allow the palette knife to connect with the paint that's already there on the base. Once it connects, I slide the palette knife across the canvas, across all the puddles of paint, and I let it glide across freely. This is what's creating those cells and lacing. I repeat that several times before stretching out the design by picking up the canvas and tilting it in different directions until I'm really happy with the composition. So when you pick up your canvas, get a feel for the weight have an idea where the paint is as it sits on the canvas and literally stretch out the design until the paint has fully covered the canvas and have a look at the composition. Step back and put the piece down. Have a look at the overall design and then basically push off the areas of paint that you don't want and create that look that you're aiming for. As you know, and especially if you've watched me for a while, I've done quite a lot of the swipe technique with these different creations. And it was really hard to choose a blue one that stood out, but this is definitely one of my favourites. I'm going to take you in now for a close-up of the detail. And by the way, all the videos that you see and all the clips that you see are detailed in the description box below. So check that out if you want to see the full tutorial. And let me know what you think. Are these your top four as well? Do you think I should have included something different? I'd love to hear what you think. But so far, these are my top four. Well, they're my top four for today anyway. I love all these different creations and I do love how versatile the swipe technique can be. So, what creation is next? Can you guess? I'll take you in quickly so you can see the dried version of this and then we'll move on to the next favourite of mine. Now, this next creation was a surprise for me. Not because it was a longer, thinner canvas, but it was actually the colour palette that I pulled together and chose for this design. 
Some of the colours you'd think, mm, I'm not really sure if they're going to work together. But believe me, they really did. And when I swipe through this one, some of that lacing is really detailed. And it's a combination of all these colours that you can see. So, as always, I'm going to puddle my paints on my canvas. And then I'll take you through the process and you can see the final result. Now for this one, I did it slightly differently. I used my palette knife first, just to make some lines, do some swirls across the full design. I'm basically mixing up some of those puddles and I'm adding a lot more detail with lines before I swipe. It was something that I was trialing and testing at this point and it evolved and it continued. And if you've watched some of my most recent pieces, you'll see exactly what I mean. But this was about merging some of those colors together before swiping and stretching out. I'm using white titanium mixed with Australian Floetrol for all of my swipes. That's what gives me that cell and lacing detail. As I always say, I just place the palette knife on top of the paint that's already on that canvas and gently allow the palette knife to glide across the top. Now, sometimes I find the tilting quite overwhelming, especially with a large canvas. But remember, you can always place the piece down and there is really no rush for this process. Just take your time and really look at the paint that you've got on your canvas before you push it completely over the edges. This is about creating a composition that you're really happy with. And with this, I just love the full colour palette. I didn't think all those colours would work well together, but believe me, I can't wait for you to see the dried result if you've not seen this piece already. I really love some of those details, and it's about the balance of the block colour and the lacing, along with those lines that we created using the palette knife right at the beginning of the process. So I'm just going to stretch this out I'm going to push the paint over the edges and don't worry, whatever paint drops on my table is always scooped up as a flow extender. So I'm going to define and refine these details by pushing the composition from one end to the other. I'm going to take you in now so you can have a look. I'm of course going to show you the dried result but this really is one of my most favorite pieces i think it's because you can see here with all the lacing that's there it's immersed in all those colors together and really brought that color palette into one i really really loved this piece So here we go, it's the dry version. I love how that lacing really pops through against that backdrop of that block color. I love this technique and you've probably seen me create many more since I did this one. But again, I will drop all the links to the full videos and tutorials in the description box. So, which painting is next? Can you guess before you see it? Let me know in the comments as we go along. I check all my comments and I respond to everybody. So please let me know what you think. And would you like some more of these kind of videos, giving you a summary of some of the pieces that I've done that are my personal favorites? Let me know in the comments below.
Now this next piece incorporated embroidery hoops. Something that I'd not really used before. But man, I did three of these in one piece and it was really complex. I learned a lot and I learned about how to layer the paints on the canvas. You have to really think about how opaque or transparent the paints are that you're layering. But what I love about this was there were three different rings and I used three different colours. And when I was swiping out, it was about seeing what lines I wanted on top of other lines and what lines I wanted to appear more in the background. I also demonstrated how you can use just toilet paper or tissue paper to really swipe in some detail and depth. So I never usually wet my toilet paper before I swipe. This is dry paper and I'm literally placing the paper on top of the paint and swiping. Just to remind you, I have sped up the video just so you don't get bored, but just so you can see how I swipe. I do swipe using different widths of paper. You'll see here that the paper is quite wide, but as I go along, I reduce the width of that paper to ensure that I can create some depth to a piece. So I repeated this another couple of times around three hoops using just three colors, but different tones of that same color. So yeah, let me know what you think about this one. This was actually one of my most favorite pieces, but it actually performed really well on YouTube. It was seen by a lot of people. I got some really great feedback and since then, many people have tried this and shared their cre creations with me. And I'm so grateful for that. All of your comments, all of your feedback really means the world to me. And if you've got any tips and suggestions for future pieces, let me know in the comments below because I would love to create pieces that you're interested in. I'm going to finish off with this green ring. You know, green's one of my favourite colours. But what I loved about this piece was the striking blue and gold within that centre piece. I think it really set off this piece and it created some great depth. And I loved doing the swipe technique with all the different sizes of paper to create that depth and that movement within one large canvas. Now the final piece that I want to share with you also used embroidery hoops and it was a real surprise for me because I didn't set out to do the design I actually created. I'll show you this dry version and then we'll move on to this next piece and this time I used four embroidery hoops and what I did is I created some block colour in the middle of those hoops so each area had a metallic colour but a block colour but this piece really evolved because what I did is once I'd removed the rings I then did some swiping on the outer edge but only on half of the canvas and that really created some intrigue for me. As this progresses let me know what you think. If you've seen this before then that's great. If you want to see the full video 
I'll link it down below too. But what do you think about these metallic colours against a really dark base colour? And wait until I start swiping because I just love some of that detail that appears on half of that canvas. It also creates some like shadow effect and I can't wait for you to see it. I always find it's quite nerve wracking removing the embroidery hoops because I, I'll let you into a secret. Before, I've removed one and completely dropped it again on my piece. But you know what? It's okay because things can always be altered or amended. And let's face it, it's only paint so we can work with what we've got. After I remove these embroidery hoops, I then create a swipe around the outer edge. And I don't know if you can remember, but I just used two colors. And by using just those two colors, really transform this piece overall. And that's one thing that I would say actually with color palettes, don't feel that you always have to have a lot of colors to make an, a, a painting really interesting or intriguing. Sometimes less really is more. And by just using a few colours, you can really create an interesting piece. I definitely feel this created a space kind of vibe, almost like a comet that was shooting through the atmosphere, or maybe it's a star or another planet, or maybe, just maybe, it could be the eye. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this piece as a complete piece? See how it transforms and see how I've dotted some gold on top of that silver. And how that, and by doing that, creates some depth to that piece. I really do love that effect. And do you know what? I think I'm going to be doing some more of this next year. I really do love the swipe. And using that block colour in the middle and some swipe on the outer edge really did create that depth and mystery because the other half is completely clear. So I've used my negative space my block colour and my swipe. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had so much fun, just like I have, showing you some of my most favourite paintings. Were some of them a surprise? If so, let me know below. But hey, I hope I get to see you again in the next video. See you soon, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye.